Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how you can tune physics so you can make your own tennis ball. Alright, so I already modeled my ball so we can jump straight into the physics editor. Now, with the push of a button, you can enable physics. And most of the time that's all you'll ever need to do. But we are making a ball and it needs to be a little bit more bouncy. So we're going to go to the advanced panel, material tab, we're going to find the bounciness slider and we're going to raise it all the way to 1. Now let's see what happens. There. Much better. Okay, so let's see what happens when we throw this ball against those stones. And as you can see, is the ball is way too heavy and it's knocking the stone block down. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the parameters tab, we're going to find the mass slider and we're going to reduce it. Okay, so now let's try again. And perfect, that's just what we expect. Okay, so let's see what happens when we roll the ball. As you can see, it doesn't really roll, it kind of slows down too fast, almost like if it's over sandpaper. That's because the dynamic friction is set to a value that's way too high. So we're just going to lower that a little bit. And let's try again. There, much better. Now if you notice that your ball really kind of takes forever to come to a stop, just like that, what you can do is simply increase the angular drag. Now that's something where like the simulation differs from real life, you know, because friction should take care of the ball coming to a stop. But, you know, it's a computer simulation. So we help it a little bit by giving it a little bit more of angular drag. Okay, so now, when a ball is traveling through the air, it's usually slowed down by the atmosphere around it. And that's not happening right now, because our drag coefficient is way too, slow, too low. So we're going to raise it up a little bit, and now we can simulate that there's an atmosphere around the ball that slows it down as it travels through the air. Alright, so that about wraps it up. One last thing I'd like to suggest is that you increase the simulation quality to either high or mega. That's found in the main menu, settings, physics. Alright, have fun!